best be upon you. The core of this video is a convergence of MMATLAB source code file to .NET components in the form of DLL. So, first, create a sample functions in MATLAB to add two numbers. Go to MATLAB. New function. Limit anything, for example, add numbers. It will take two arguments number one, number two. Plus number two, save it. Go to common window and type deploy to press enter. It will open a deployment project, name it whatever you want, for example, C sharp. Project. Select location and from type drop down menu. Select the .NET assembly. Click OK. And it will open the .NET assembly window, which you can at at this. Name it whatever you want. To. So we can name it C sharp. Close. Add file. And if you want to save the files in your package, go to back package tab. Click here if you want to add MCR. MCR which referred to MATLAB compiler and time. Click OK. And now the project is ready to build. Click here to build your project. It will take a few minutes, but we don't um, waste our time, so I, I have already uh, created another one. Now we can go to Visual Studio. Here we want to add two references. One, the DLL which, which, which have, ha, have already extracted from, extracted from um, uh, MATLAB, and the second is MW array, um, which able to using that five uh, of MATLAB. So, go to add reference and browse to select the bar and add this and this. Click OK. Now, we can add class name it anything, for example test We need to use some number spaces to start coding. Moving. We want also use this dialog. Now we can create the method. Name it add um, two number. We need two variables. One for the first number and, and second one for second number. Create an object um, from the class we, we have created in MATLAB, C sharp class. Go 
have a method. We have a method which um, we make we make function in MATLAB, and this is the method we are calling. We need to cast the two parameters to MW array. We want to call this method in the main method. Run the program. Sorry, does that take a few seconds? Yeah, fine. Congratulations. Well, if you run the program and some exception may be uh, thrown like like this, like this exception, don't worry. This most mostly due to absence of MW array in a global assembly cache. But with kind of applications in X ED text platform, the solution is to is to run an um, MC or an installer to install the MATLAB compiler runtime. It should work once MCR is installed. Restart operating system, Visual Studio, MATLAB, and everything will be okay. Thanks.